PHP is a web scripting language that is used on the majority of websites on the internet today. Originally built in 1994 as a personal project by Rasmus Lerdoff, it has grown to become a very widely used technology. Rasmus called his project Personal Homepage, which reflected the art and craft of building a website in 1994. It has since been renamed as PHP Hypertext Preprocessor, which if you look carefully, you can see that that is a recursive name. So PHP stands for itself and Hypertext Processor. Rasmus admits that his project grew from a personal item into something that was a worldwide phenomenon. You would think that he's a billionaire for inventing something like this, but similar to Linux Torvalds, he's widely used as a, a reference for open source project, but he has a job today at Etsy as a software developer. PHP has gone through about eight different versions of itself, adding different items from more efficient web scripting engines to object-oriented programming to adding support for Unicode text and more. If you need a job, you can probably find PHP skills around you. PHP is primarily used in WordPress websites, which will always be in style. PHP is part of the collection of software known as LAMP, or Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. All of these programs are free and open source, and so the collection together makes a great platform for building student websites and even websites that run commercially. The trend for Google searches on PHP shows that at one time it was super popular, but gradually has decreased every year. As I mentioned, WordPress dominates the CMS market or the content management systems. And so if you have a CMS, it's probably in WordPress. About half the websites today use CMSs as the way to organize their content. So with a CMS, an administrator of a website doesn't need to know how to program, pretty much just needs to fill in forms to update new content. The trend of CMS keeps on growing so that people are more likely to use a management system rather than programmers to update simple content changes. PHP is interpreted at runtime, so you never compile the language unless you have some sort of an optimizer, but you can take the program script and run it on any platform if it has an interpreter installed. The syntax of PHP is in line with HTML code, and so you can see in this yellow block here, there is a beginning and an ending tag with these question marks, and inside you can see the code that is PHP interpreted. This statement here, echo, is actually the print statement. PHP variables all start with a dollar sign, and as you can see from the example, there is no data type specified, so the context of the data is inferred at runtime. A variable can change from an integer to a string and vice versa, and you'll have little no knowledge about that, and so it's rather difficult to trace down errors if you are not careful with how you use your types. PHP allows you to use functions that return values. So you can see from this example, uh, a function called myAge will compute an answer and return it. PHP uses anonymous functions, or arrow functions as they're called. And so you can see in this example that the function has no name. So it's called an anonymous function. PHP is an object-oriented programming language, so you could expect to see that there are public and private keywords, there are properties, and there are constructors and other methods that you would expect in object-oriented programming. The constructor is a little bit odd. It uses a double underscore and then the word construct. Each property has an arrow as an identifier. So in this example, this arrow name would be in other languages as this dot name. PHP object-oriented programming supports uh, inheritance and interfaces, just like you would expect in other object-oriented languages. This example shows the use of a constructor, so we're creating some students and we're putting them into an array. If you'd like to learn how to build your first websites using PHP, I have several tutorials at studycoding.org where you can follow along with me. My name is Shad Sluter and I teach software development at Grand Canyon University, so I welcome you to come along and learn with me online.